And in fact, dating back to last year's bowl game, almost one there. Kaiser's going for it all down the sidelines deep, and it is Will Fuller again for a touchdown. Up there on second down and seven. And a quick flip to Will Fuller, and there's that speed. They're floating into the corner of the end zone, and is that picked off in the back corner there? That is D.J. White. Left side, another good game. First down, he's reaching for the end zone. Touchdown! And that's a little trickery there by Thomas. Good fake, and he drops the ball. It's loose, and there's Jalen Smith. Tackled just outside the 15-yard line. Trying to give Notre Dame a bigger lead, and this time he bangs it right through. Procise, this time, touchdown. So Procise gets in. So now it's second down at 15. Ball backed up to the nine-yard line, and they give it to Procise again, and he bails them out. First down for Procise, and now is anybody going to catch him? The workhorse for Notre Dame on the ground is going to add to his total and score his third of the game. The Georgia Tech team, which has dominated opponents dating back to the stretch of last season. This is Scove. Going in for the touchdown for Georgia Tech, his second of the game. <laughs> Trying to get the ball back here with 48 seconds left, and did they get it? It looks like they did. Well, he's got to complete to Scove. <laughs> he's got already a couple of touchdowns. Why not another one to maybe make it even more dramatic? They go to the other side this time. There's some contact there. That was Torrey Hunter able to secure it for Notre Dame. Kneel down and that will do it. Notre Dame after that miracle win orchestrated by Deshaun Kaiser in the final drive a week ago makes his first start at Notre Dame and makes it a winning start.